Hey dudes, Chris here, back into Marvel's Avengers, and today I'm gonna teach you how to master Captain America. We're gonna talk all about the best skills, best combos, best perks that you're going to want on gear, but most important of them all, we're gonna talk about some really amazing combat tips that will definitely make you feel like a true badass. As always, if you enjoyed this video at any point, a thumbs up on it would be super appreciated, and let's jump right into it. Okay, so let's get started with a couple of really awesome basic combos for the ground and the air juggles, but then we're gonna go over one that is a bit more complicated, but also very, very satisfying. So the first ground combo that I really enjoy doing is the 3-1 tap, where you basically combine the first three light attacks with the heavy attack combo finisher at the end of the combo sequence. So basically, start with any enemy, do three light attacks, and then follow up quickly after that with one heavy attack. This will let you use a much faster combo chain than doing the individual light or heavy attack chains. It basically applies directly that combo finisher at the end of it much faster without having to go into the heavy combo chain. And if you happen to have some perks that provide heavy combo finisher bonuses, like for example some type of elemental like cryo damage and freezing the target or a damage bonus buff, this is also going to directly benefit that too. It also deals that really high AoE damage at the end of it with the ground slam that's going to send a shockwave in a cone in front of you which is really freaking awesome. So really awesome one, you can even take it one step further and you can start with a heavy charge attack to launch the enemy up in the air, basically being defenseless for the entire duration, follow with the three light attack combo and then immediately with a heavy chain attack at the end of it that's going to send that shockwave right there. But most important is because you can air juggle the enemies for the entire duration and if you didn't know about this air juggling enemies is a whole mechanic in itself that lets you deal more damage onto targets that are being air juggled but i've promised that i'm going to show you one really awesome one that you can do up in the air and almost keep the target over there for over 10 seconds if you know what you're doing so just like in the case of the previous ones start with a charged shield uppercut which is the heavy attack then as the target goes up immediately jump in the air with it and follow up with two light attacks. Just as the second light attack finishes, try to do a shield throw and then once that's done, you can continue with another charged heavy that you're gonna use to slam your shield in the ground and it's basically going to send that shockwave in the falling target. The only advice that I can give you over here for the shield throw, because that's the most difficult, is to aim higher than you think you should because, especially on the controller, you need to really flick that camera up to throw that shield to aim it in the target. Otherwise, nothing else about it is too complicated, outside of the fact that you have to press these buttons in a fast sequence. But again, go ahead in the harm rooms and you can easily go ahead and just test everything over there. But we've talked about these combos, let's talk about the abilities and the ones that are actually the most important. And of course, you already know about this, this is the bread and butter for the Captain America build and that is his shield kick. In fact, in Invest all of your first points if you haven't already fully into that range capabilities. Especially so the shield kick is amazing because you don't have to manually target anything. In fact, don't even waste time manually targeting any enemy because that's just a waste of time and you're letting yourself expose to a lot of incoming damage. Instead, charge up that shield throw, just throw it in the general direction of any enemy and only focus on kicking the shield once it comes back. The only thing that you have to get a custom with is actually anticipating when the shield gets back to you. So you can either in the first beginning stages before you get used to it kind of spam your kick ability which is going to be R2 on the controller or Q on the keyboard. So spam that but eventually if you use it often you're gonna get used to it and it becomes second nature to know exactly when the shield comes back and when it needs kicking. Even more so when that kick is going to be automatically tracking all of those enemies so you don't have to worry about anything outside of dealing as much damage as possible. The next one is going to be one of the only on-demand buffs that we have on any character and that is the commander's call right here in the main primary page. But basically you press the heavy attack while blocking to deal some really huge damage with a shield but it also taunts the enemies in the process and you get a really awesome defense buff that reduces the cost of blocking by 50% and incoming damage by 15%. But there are a couple of upgrades over there that will make it truly amazing and that's why I recommend investing the first point
point into the iron defense right here it makes blocking attacks during that buff to drain no intrinsic energy whatsoever so basically once you cast that and use that commander's call you're going to have infinite block for the duration of the buff which is going to be 18 seconds if you also invest the point into the next skill which is going to be the captain's defense mastery it basically extends that 10 seconds to a full 18 seconds which is going to give you an 18 second infinite block for all incoming damage so that's amazing go ahead and use this this is going to be the main way you're going to protect yourself against melee attacks and even ranged attacks but enough with the regular skills let's talk about those heroics because these will transform you into a beast that is absolutely immune to everything especially if you do this properly so here are the skills and their best upgrades i'm going to start things off with the brooklyn brawler which is your ultimate ability and by far my favorite in the game so this ultimate increases both your damage and defenses and it turns your light melee attacks into ranged attacks for the entire duration of that ability so basically every attack is going to be a guard break that passes enemies shields it deals really high damage but most important it brings that stagger meter even higher we're going to combine these with a couple of upgrades that are going to make it truly spectacular the first one is the cqc specialist this makes it so that you can perform your takedowns on critically wounded enemies too so instead of having to wait for the stun bar to be fully filled so that the enemies um, get stunned you can just simply deal damage as fast as possible bring that enemy below 40 percent hp and then immediately follow up with a takedown at no cost you can even spam a takedown on the same target assuming that it's under that 40 percent hp and it's still not dead yet but most important you can combine this with the adrenaline rush in the same skill line and this is going to make takedowns to extend the duration of your brooklyn brawler by three seconds each time you perform it so you kind of already understand where i'm going with this one basically these two synergize so well together that you can basically have an indefinite brooklyn brawler for the entire duration of the same fight now if you think that's over it's not because there is a third ability in the mastery page that's going to truly bring it at the next level and that is the heroic takedown mastery which is going to make takedowns spawn heroic orbs as well so not only can you perform takedowns much easier they are going to extend the duration of your brooklyn brawler by three seconds each time and now they also recharge all of your heroics which means that by the end of the fight not only do you have a really long duration on that brooklyn brawler you have fully reset the entire duration of all your ultimates so that you can cast it indefinitely without having any downtime on it at all i mean what else can you want from it it's going to make you into a powerhouse that's fully immune during those animations and is all around one of the best ways to survive in the end game the next heroic is the steamroller with its upgrades of course the steamroller doesn't deal like way more damage than your shield kick in the end game but it's still very important because during its cast animation you are going to be immune for its duration and here are the two upgrades that work the best for me the first one is called secret weapons it basically gives you two charges of steamroller instead of just one the reason i'm using this is because it provides that extra invincibility frames that i really need on the highest difficulty and the second one is called the vanguard charge which makes every two enemies defeated with the steamroller to generate more heroic orbs so again you see where i'm going with this one heroics non-stop 24 for seven around the clock the last one is the rally cry the support ability it makes enemies to be marked with a rally cry and as such they take increased damage you kind of have to be close to the target but it's a really amazing debuff even more so if you upgrade it with call to arms as it's going to provide you and your party mate a 25 percent damage reduction so it is going to be really amazing and you can also invest another point into the threat control so that your critical attacks against targets marked by it are going to deal 50% bonus stun damage which again stun damage is going to be really amazing for everything else i'm going to leave you at it here is basically my skill line but you can invest into anything that directly increases your damage or heroic orb generation nonetheless we talked about all of these abilities let's talk about stats and here is the stat priority that you need to keep an eye out for so for the build that i'm suggesting that is the range build with some melee abilities too you're going to want to focus on precision first immediately followed by might so that your ranged attacks with the shield deal
deal the highest amount of damage. To accompany with this, you should also look for gear that combines that with some proficiency and valor. Proficiency basically increases your critical chance, while valor increases your critical damage. And at one point, I reached about 250 critical damage, which basically let me deal up to 80,000 damage with the shield kick. Resolve shouldn't be neglected either. I think that if you get about 120 plus resolve, it is going to be enough because that's going to give you about 15,000 HP, which should be good enough for the end game on the hardest difficulty. But try not to get any lower than that because otherwise, some random shots can still one shot kill you. Anyway, on a final note, here are some of the best perks that you should look out for on gear. The first one on shield should be like an elemental, such as the Pym Particle. In fact, the two best particles for Captain America are Pym, closely followed by Frost. Pym Particle, especially if you get it on ranged power attacks, which by the way your shield kick is, is going to be one of the most amazing since it's a fast attack, you are going to use this the most often, and it's going to spread those particles really easily. Even more so since the damage is really high, which means that the status effect also gets applied much easier. Another really cool one is that that applies a 40% chance to get a damage buff when hitting an enemy with a critical damage. So basically, since you are going to have a lot of critical damage with your shield throw, you are going to deal that quite often, even more so when it bounces from enemy to enemy, so the chances are pretty high to almost always have that adept buff on top. You can also get it on something like killing enemies, hitting enemies, or just like uh, hitting them in the head or in the weak points, so look for these because these are going to be really amazing. Another one would be Critical Spark, basically over 20% chance that takedowns will grant a heroic charge burst on all heroics, and there's others in there that might provide something else, like a willpower burst in case you need some healing, or even a damage burst since that can also be applied with the spark attack. Otherwise, also look for invulnerability on enemy kills. This is another really awesome one that you can get, but I think that is going to alternate between the critical spark and the one with invulnerability, so you kind of have to choose the one or the other. Everything else you should look at that provides heavy attack damage and heavy range damage, since these are going to be the abilities that you're going to use the most often. Finally, if you can also get a buff for the Brooklyn Brawler, something that for example increases your status damage during the ultimate like the Brooklyn Brawler modifier, go for that, or the other one that increases its duration by 5 seconds, there's also one that you can get on the gear, but usually these are the ones that you will be looking for. There's many more though on top, of course it's going to be all about your gear, but these were the ones that benefited most for me. But yeah, this is it for today, thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed this video don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.